In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating a quick example of generating counters using CSS. This video is going to show you how to generate counters or numbered sequences, add a prefix to those with a generated content, and style it a little bit so it looks nicely placed on your web page. As usual, I've provided you with your raw code within your Canvas course shell and I've gone ahead and set up some Lauren Ibsen so that we can see the differences and have some content to play with and let's go ahead and take a look at our code. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to run this in Firefox and as you can see because we're working with an ordered list, it's put one, two, three, four, five normally in there. It hasn't done any styling to our numbering or our content, our lower names of content. So let's go work on our CSS. So the first thing we want to do with this is we want to take out the normal bullets that would be done with an ordered list. So we're going to do a list style of none. You've seen that before in creating and working with ordered lists and lists. And we're going to start by working with our counter. And we're going to tell it counter reset. And we're going to give it a section counter. So each time it comes upon a, a whole new section, it will restart that counter. I'm going to make the font size of our chapters a little bit larger than normal. I'm also going to say the font weight will be bold. And finally, so you can see what we're actually generating, I'm going to give it a color of green. And that takes care of our ordered list. Now, for our list items before, we're going to add some content. We start with the keyword chapter that you saw there, a space and a quote, and we're going to add our counter. We're going to tell it how to increment that counter or what's going to increment our section counter. And finally, the last thing we're going to add is we're going to add some margins to the paragraphs that we have within our list items. We put 0 to the top and 25 pixels to the right. We're going to make that color of our paragraphs black, so it'll be normal text. We're going to decrease the font size of our paragraph so we can tell the difference between our headers, our chapters, and our whoops, font size. Got ahead of myself. Font size smaller. And we're going to give it some padding on the bottom <clears throat> so that we can see the break between chapters. I'm going to save this and I'm going to go back and reload and here's our changes. Our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 normal list items were gone. We added the chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We took our lorem ipsum, indented it to the right and the left and we gave it the break afterwards. Thanks for watching. I know this is a really quick one, but I hope you enjoyed it.